Hey guys and gals, Mike Cricket 113. Uh, this is the Anytone uh, AT778UV, uh, 2 meter, 70 centimeter ham radio, 25 watts mobile radio, which I also use as a, uh, a base radio to monitor uh, my favorite frequencies. But a uh, quick, uh, quick little thing here. Uh, anybody new to amateur radio, uh, when you're setting up your HTs, meaning your handhelds or your mobile radios, maybe you, maybe you purchase one of these. You can still get them for about 126 to 130 dollars, uh, which is a great great starter radio, and uh, you know to get into the hobby to have a mobile radio. But uh, when you're setting these up uh, on FM on the repeaters or simplex you want to be in wide band you want to be in wide band and how do you do that how do you do this on the radio on this particular radio anyway on the any tone here you want to hit the function button here uh before we get to that see on the side here you have all these terms these are little menus quick menus here so hit the function and see the one that says band that would be p6 there and if you hit that once you're in narrow band a lot of people forget you don't want to be in narrow, you want to be in wide. This one does narrow, medium, or mid, and wide. Wide band is going to be your full bandwidth. Your voice will be clear and crisp, just like you would hear on FM broadcast. So uh, you beginners out there, remember, you want to be in wide band, okay? But this is how you change it on the Anytone 778. Just cycle through. And it will be in wide. Let's try that again. There you go. So there's that. Anyway, and so let's see here. You also have your power right here. And you can change your power there from high, medium, and low. Whatever uh, suits your fancy. Pretty much like how much power you're going to need to make that uh, contact. To make communication with another person. Um, amateur radio states that, you know, you use the, uh, the power, the applicable power needed to make said contact clearly. So if you don't need to be on high power all the time, if somebody's only four miles away, sometimes depending on terrain and, and all that. Another way to access, to change your power, say you're in the mobile and you're driving and you can't really be hitting all those buttons is to, on your microphone on the 778UV, this PC button right here uh, is set for power. So I'm going to hit that with my thumb here. Now watch where the DC138 is. And notice it goes from medium. I was in low, high, and back to low again. So I'll leave it at medium there for now. So there's a quick button on your microphone so you can change your power while you're driving. Uh, another cool thing to do when you're driving, uh, depending on how you have this mounted, I have it in my car sideways. But the monitor button, M-O-N there, which is P3. Now you can hear, notice I had uh, three uh, <laughs> units of noise there. But the mon monitor button, so you can hear if there's any weak signals out, out there. Because depending on what your squelch is set to, which is P5, mine's at the lowest setting. Now you can turn your, your channel knob here. You can turn it off. And then all the way up to Squelch 9. I usually leave mine around 1 because I like to hear any of the weaker sig signals coming in. But I don't want to have to listen to the static all the time. But uh, but usually if I am calling uh, CQ in the mobile on Simplex. Especially on this frequency and or 146.520. I will definitely... Turn the squelch off because you never know who you might not hear when your squelch is on. And your volume button here is also on uh, <clears throat> P6. So you can hit that and adjust your volume. Now mo all this radio is pretty much menu driven. So that you always have to hit something else to get to uh, what you need. So the volume is right there. Uh, so that makes it a little... You know, it's pretty easy to turn it up. When I'm in the mobile, I usually have it up set to all the way to the top, which is around, what is it, 30, up, oh, 36. And that's pretty loud in the car. You know, your speaker's underneath here. So depending on where it's mounted, 
you know, if it's din if it's din mounted, it's going to be blocked. So you might want to use the external speaker jack on the back. But you could also set it up. Let's see if we can see this here. That A B is pretty bright. Uh, you can hear out of the microphone as well. So sometimes I'll put this to my ear if I ha can't hear the station coming in. That's a little staticky. Uh, you got your Vox button there. I never use that. <laughs> Honestly, I never do. Unless I had a, uh, a, I can't remember if there's a Vox jack in the back, but uh, you could use your microphone. And if there is a Vox jack, you could use that. Uh, Squelch, we went over. This is your uh, VFO and memory mode uh, option. Cycle back and forth. There's your VFO. That's a simplex, or no, that's a uh, frequency I just listened to. I do not transmit on, otherwise I'll get arrested. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> There's your AB, uh, main uh, channel, uh, memory selection, whether A or B. And what else we got there? Let's go to, uh, whoops. All right, so we got power. This is the CD, CDT is going to be your... Uh, CTS tones for receive or transmit. If you hit it again, you'll hit transmit. And you could cycle through for CTS or CTCSS tones or DCS tones. So that's where you would adjust that on your simplex or if you were programming a frequency or of a uh, repeater manually. So we're going to get out of that. And then uh, what else we got here? Let's go back, see the function goes goes out really quick and you got your shift shift button so for uh two meters it's going to be 600 uh hertz and uh or excuse me 600 uh megahertz my bad and uh you know you want to adjust that there see it kicks you right out and your direction direction's funny they don't ever hit that when you're driving because uh you're gonna hate it trust me watch when you hit direction Boom, it's upside down. But then you were thinking, oh, it's, it's this button. No, it's not. It's over here because you just flipped your uh, radio upside down. Why did they do that? Why did they do the direction up and down? Well, I can tell you that one. It's because depending on how you have this mounted, you may need to flip that direction. Uh, whether it be on, you know, you mount it uh, inverted or... Uh, upside down or whatever, wherever you had to mount it. So that's uh, the way you can do it. Whatever you like. <laughs> it's interesting. It very, It is very interesting. But this is a great radio overall. I know this is a long video. Uh, in case anybody's bored or needs to fall asleep, please watch this video. Like and subscribe, please. And uh, check out the Anytone AT778UV. I'm sure if you do... Uh, buy one of these radios you will be happy with it you definitely will perfect size uh can fit almost anywhere and uh great for mobiles and uh base radios uh an alternative to have if uh you need a vhf uhf in your in your shack and you have your hf radio on all the time so anyway this is mike cricket 113 long video but uh weekend's coming up hope everybody's doing well <laughs> All you Southern California guys, uh, or guys and gals up there, they were getting snow. So stay warm, bundle up, <laughs> get used to it. Northeast have been dealing with it for years. You guys haven't had a snowstorm since the 80s. So uh, have fun, make some snow angels, and uh, everybody stay cool or warm. And 7-3, Mike Cricket, 113, we're clear.